Welcome back to Let's Play The Foundation, the DLC chapter for Control. I'm Burning Dog Face, and, uh... That's right, that's where I am! I suddenly realized I had completely forgotten! How embarrassing. We are heading to the north. So I'm just gonna will myself through this pile of sand. Actually, you know what? That doesn't seem to be working. I'll just go around it. Probably be faster that way. Sorry! Oh, well, that's funny. Hmm. An eagle-eyed viewer pointed out something in the astral bathroom that I need to find later. I can't remember where in the collapse department that was. Um... Yeah, okay. <sighs> Deep cavern it is. Interesting. I thought I saw a bunch of debris over there. I did see something moving around over there. Spike, is that you? No, that's okay. Damn it. Uh, oh, God. Hey, it works! Alright. Um. Foiling this. Fuck. Oh, right, they can teleport. That's what happened just there. I was opening my mouth to say, what just happened? hate to do that instead of claiming it, but you know. Oh yeah, it does. Why do you like getting shit from you? Ah! Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, he just... Uh... Oh, it's... Mm, I didn't even tell it was you. like that guy very much. I also don't oh shit! See those tanks that I find everywhere that I don't know what they do? Uh, at least those... Oh, fuck. Don't go off by themselves after a few seconds. Uh-huh. Full of mods. Awesome! Doubles. Hmm. Wait, that's a spin one? Oh. Okay. Oh, actually did just right, yeah. <laughs> you 
know what? I'm close to phase. I really don't like how durable those shields really make them. That guy had a lot of shit on him. My word. Let's see, I had a couple things to uh, bring up here. Yes, yeah, shout out to Yornick, who uh, took... Uh, <laughs> He took umbrage with my comment about the former wearing a fake mustache, saying, Come on, it's our buddy Former we're talking about here. He's gonna have a glorious mustache, sure, but also a colorful sombrero, a guitar, and the insistence that his name is Senor Formario. To be fair, one of the reasons the Former got kicked out of the board was stuff like that. And why, yes, I do think that the world makes no sense, what gave me away. P.S. My apologies to the wonderful people of Mexico. Oh, I like that. <laughs> oh, that's a dead ass hand. Ooh, uh, wait, what kind is that? Oh, oh, it's a Pierce one. Yeah, it's that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Hmm. Mods. I'm just saying, at a certain point, they should probably let you build a mod wallet. seen any lore while I was running around. And that's actually not actually a cave, it's just a light, so where the fuck? Should be on this side anyway. Okay, maybe I'm still not uh in the proper Ah uh, okay. Ah yes, one of these. Thankfully I have a key. His name is Jeremy. Oh, don't step on that. Ooh. So it's like uh, Old Faithful, except with caustic chemicals. It's a dead end. Oh god, oh jeez, oh god! Wow, I timed that pretty well, I think. You know, I never notice that some of them are different colors. And we're running, and we're running, and we're running. Hey, it's a pillar. Congratulations, you two. Many happy returns. Yeah, you leave a stalactite long enough, and uh, eventually it might reach all the way to the ground or to the stalagmite forming underneath it. Oh, fuck, it's just right here. All right, this is the last one. So, what, boss fight then? Oh, very ominous. Actually, if I'm going to do that, I should probably uh, mention this other point. Uh, shout out to Elthwar, 
who says uh, their best understanding of what the former was trying to communicate is that it wants Jesse to save the oldest house and that that somehow requires a step beyond the nail. I like this part. Also, its speech pattern makes me wonder if the board's individual components all speak like the former, and their level of coherence is caused by them overlapping their words in a way to cover each other's gaps. You know, I had just been assuming that, uh... You know, it was just that, oh, you know, the, the former doesn't have a direct connection to Jesse anymore, not being part of the board, so it's much more difficult for it to communicate with her. But, uh, you know, as we should probably guess in this particular setting more than most, assumptions are not to be trusted. <laughs> you know, I was having a conversation with, the, uh, with a friend just last night about the former. Even before that, I'd been driving myself crazy trying to think of what it, me what it meant by all that nonsense. And it was pointed out to me that the shortest thing it says is when Jesse asks what's in this for you, and it said void nothing, egress I know egress just is a fancy way of saying escape or exit, depending on whether you use it as a verb or a noun, but uh escape from the void nothing escapes from the void escape to the void Unless void is being used as a verb, too. You see what I mean? It could mean any damn thing. And the worst part is, I got the distinct impression that whatever it was trying to tell me, it was being urgent about it. And I just have this feeling I cannot shake. Like I'm going to finish the DLC and everything it said will suddenly make sense. Uh, well, maybe not everything. I'm not sure about the abalone part. Unless the final boss is, you know, like a... bivalve. <laughs> I believe Marshall's brilliant plan was to blow up the nail. Right? <laughs> and she thought I wasn't ready. Well, if that's holding that up, breaking that will make it fall and stay down and not regenerate, so there's that. <laughs> yes. Uh, without any understanding of what it was, it seems that Marshall, uh, encountered the nail, discovered that the Hiss had plans for it, and blew it to pieces, thereby almost destroying two different universes. Fuck. That's not ideal. Go with that, you shit piece. No. Hmm. Okay. waiting for it to reset itself. This is very surreal. I mean, I'm pretty sure Crystal isn't supposed to do that, but I'm pretty sure Crystal isn't supposed to do a lot of things we've seen in this DLC. Leave 
end. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, X. Whoa. Okay, we're running. This is gonna start collapsing. Hey, it seems that uh, that did the opposite of what it was supposed to do, guys. Board? Fucking the ghost of Trench? I don't know. Anybody? Better now, not worse. Emily will know. I hope. Oh, good, another key. Oh, no, it's the same one. Yes, this will be that spot way up that I could see. <sighs> New mission: the pyramid. I also got a uh, uh, forty out of fifty-seven for subterranean research. So I'm assuming I just got. Oh, right, I need to hand that one in. Hotline! What do you know the board does have something to tell me? There it is. Astral Entities. This is a weird time to go for that, but sure. <clears throat> Apologies, how embarrassing. Astral Fellows Shades are acting hostile, very rude. We cannot direct behavior in external, not astral, regions. Promise, fingers crossed. I, mean, I guess it would explain why they are attacking me. I uh, thought of mine was corrected by the detail I had forgotten. Uh, technically. We don't know that the entire astral plane looks like this, just the part underneath the pyramid that the board are in direct control of. They don't own the entire, uh, dimension, just the part of it that the Bureau is allowed to interact with. Huh. I wonder. Oh, come on! They don't want me up there, clearly. I see how it is. No, this wasn't the one that led to a bathroom. That was a much smaller area. We get back and there's a third Emily now. Not because of what I just did, there just is. Plot twist. It turns out the id are just a race of beings that all happen to look exactly like Emily, and she's just been the only one here this whole time. <laughs> it's an honor, Director. Oh, thank you. I thought this said Foundation Engineer, but that's... Okay, okay. Honestly, yeah, buried alive, not a great one. The worst ones would be uh, mauled to death by an animal, uh, fired, uh, and I, I think I'd actually put drowning above being buried alive, but only by like point zero zero one. Naturally, if zombies were real, that would be number one. Because uh, zombies don't kill you before they start eating. You got this, Director. Uh, thank you, you. What did you do? What is causing these tremors? I thought you could tell me. I completed the four rituals just like the board told me to. The astral bleed should have stopped. But it has stopped. The nail is repaired. But we have a new problem. My analysis of the nail indicates that it is literally a piece of the astral plane. Or possibly a vessel containing the astral plane. Or both. Either way, right now both dimensions are vibrating at completely incompatible frequencies. The spatial friction they are generating is incalculable. Oh god. It's going to destroy both planes. 
I messed this all up. Maybe Marshall was right to destroy the nail. I should have left it in pieces. Well, then the astral plane would still be leaking in. Sometimes there's no right answer, Jesse. We need more information. No. I need to fix this now. I'll just... I'll figure something out. No, we should really make a plan. The tremors are originating from directly below us, but we don't know what... Perfect. I'll head down and take care of whatever's going on. Just do what you can from here. Jesse, you can't just... I have to, Emily. I'm the director. This is on me. See? I told you we were gonna die down here. Bureau researchers, do not panic, Dr. Saba. Keep monitoring those tremors and get me some actionable data. Well, that's not good. If you're not gonna listen to me, then you better go figure out how to stop this. There's no telling what could happen if the vibrations escalate. I'll see you later, Emily. Good luck. Take notes. Oh boy, we've really done it this time. We've got your back, Director. Thank you. I see her there. Oh boy. Uh. I guess I'll have to figure that out in the next episode of Let's Play the Foundation. The DLC chapter for Control. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll, uh, see you then. Wish me luck, Burning Dog fans. The stakes are higher than I expected. Later.